So we all know that Michigan won this year's college football championship, but who are the real winners? Who are the ones that really came up on top? I'm Jimmy Bishrat, a financial advisor and your go-to person for all things sports business. So who was the big winner this bowl season? Nope, not Jim Harbaugh, not even Dave Portnoy who won a million dollar bet this year. It wasn't even the Michigan football team. But instead, the Pop-Tart marketing team came up on top. I didn't know if you'd like Kellogg's Pop-Tarts. This year, NC State and Kansas State were head-to-head -head in the first ever Pop-Tart Bowl. You probably don't remember the score. You may not even remember who played. But there's no way anyone has forgotten the viral marketing scheme that Pop-Tart pulled off that day. At the end of the game, the Pop-Tart mascot jumped into a toaster oven where all four feet of him were later eaten by the entire Kansas State football team. In just one game, the Pop-Tart man may have become the most famous mascot in all of sports. Well, behind the San Diego chicken, of course. His silly antics and dancing were shown throughout the game and were memed across social media for weeks to follow. There was an estimated $12.1 million worth of brand exposure, according to a marketing agency, Apex Marketing Group. Reportedly, the total sponsorship income for the bowl, and this includes sponsorships from all companies, were around $2 million. So $2 million for $12 million of brand exposure? Sounds like a pretty good deal to me. With the Super Bowl around the corner, we'll wait and see if something similar were to happen in this year's game. Maybe Patrick Mahomes and Travis Kelsey will split a four foot tall Dorito. Who do you think is going to win this year's Super Bowl? Is it going to be the Chiefs? Is it going to be the Niners? Or is it going to be Pop-Tart? Comment your thoughts below.